professor of medicine and public health at UCLA. He joins us now live. Uh, Jeffrey, really great to have you with us. You know, I want to talk about one aspect of this outbreak that we're now seeing, which is how it's impacting young people. We're seeing a surge in young people with infections. And I want to take Florida, for instance. Um, the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, said the median age of positive COVID-19 cases was, uh, was in the 60s, and now it's in the 30s. And so that's significantly changed. Why? Well, we know that uh, young people have been out more. Young people have been in greater uh, social contact, less likely to social distance. And because of um, efforts to go back to work and back to school, there's been more testing. And testing will definitely find more cases. Um, the good thing about um, the age going down in terms of the people who are testing positive is that the death rate um, is much, much lower among uh, younger people. We have to remember that um, a third of all deaths, one out of three deaths in the United States are in those over 85, and more than half are over those over 75. So we need to protect our elderly, but we need to get our young people tested more. So, Jeffrey, are you in some ways agreeing with the president saying that the reason why we're seeing more cases is because, is because there is more testing? Would, is that what you would attribute this surge to? Well, it's a combination. I mean, there's certainly been an increase in testing. So California, where I live, has doubled the number of tests in the past four weeks. So yesterday there were 90,000 tests in California, and certainly with more tests, there are more cases, but also we've seen a slight increase in hospitalizations. And in certain counties in California, um, hospital systems have been overwhelmed. They've had to transfer uh, patients. In Texas, in Houston, which is one of the largest medical centers in the world, they are reaching a point of near capacity. So um, two things are true, that there's been more testing, and more cases, but there's also have been an increase in hospitalizations. I, I feel like we're seeing a lot of young people right now that are, uh, obviously it's in the summer and, and people are being more social, but we keep hearing about these instances of, of you know, more than a dozen friends gathering in a bar for a birthday party and they all come down with the coronavirus or somebody has a house party or a family birthday party. And we're seeing these cases, it almost seems like, where people are gathering indoors without things like contact tracing and without maybe perhaps people regularly taking coronavirus testing. I mean, what's, what's your, I guess, assessment of people gathering indoors? It, it would seem that this is really what's, what's a spreading ground for this. It's not so much being outside and social distancing, it's people to get getting together indoors. Sure. Well, we know the most efficient place and way to spread infection is being in a close, crowded space indoors uh, with a bunch of people that are together, so more than 15 minutes, less than six feet apart. And it's in those settings indoors where mask wearing uh, is important. Um, and as young people um, socialize more and congregate more indoors, we can expect more infection. But we need to focus our limited resources on protecting the elderly. So um, we might consider you know, allowing young people to get um, infected, but then separating uh, younger people from those most vulnerable. So keeping people that are likely to be infected outside of nursing homes, outside of assisted care living facilities. If they're living in a household with an elderly person, keep those uh, folks separate, um, keep social distancing and uh, keep washing hands and protect the most uh, vulnerable. The United States is a huge country. We have nowhere near the resources, the leadership, the mobilization to adequately address this right now. So we need to, you know, take kind of practical measures that uh, might include allowing younger people to um, get infected and stop worrying about that as much because, again, the mortality rate in younger people is very, very low, but protecting those who are most vulnerable, protecting the elderly and those with chronic conditions. 
It's low, Jeffrey, but it, low. there's also those cases where we see younger people being hospitalized as a result of the coronavirus. So it's, um, it's hard to balance that messaging. But Jeffrey Klosner, we appreciate you coming on. Thanks for that.